it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to unbox my brand new Sawgrass SG-1000. So if you are not familiar with the Sawgrass SG-1000, it is a wider format uh, desktop sublimation printer. As you know, I've been sublimating for years. I think I got this SG-400, which still works. It's an eight and a half by 11 Sawgrass. Um, I think I got that back in about 2016, so it's about time to upgrade here, okay? So this one is the newer version, the larger version. Um, it has Wi-Fi uh, compatibility. Um, not a lot else has really changed because why change a good thing, right? So um, I wanna get it unboxed, show you what's included inside, what, how to get it, um, well, I'll do another video on how to get it set up, but I did want you guys to just see. now. As you can see, this box is pretty big. I'm actually standing on a stool. If I step down, you'll be able to see. Ha! <laughs> but <laughs> um, I want to do an unboxing so you can see everything that's included with it, okay? All right, so the SG-1000 is an 11 by 17 um, sublimation printer. It takes sublimation inks, Sawgrass sublimation inks. It can be used with a Mac and a PC, right? Easy to set up. All of the tutorials that I already have on the SG-5400 work for the SG-500, which is the smaller version of this one, and this one as well, all right, as long, along with the 800. Um, those are just the older versions. So here you have the installation kit, all right? So we'll have to see what's in there, sublimation installation kit. Oh, this is the ink. So there's two different versions of the ink. There's the Easy Subly ink, which is the Caesar ink, and then there's the Subly Jet HD ink, which is what I prefer, and so that's what I got. So you've got um, all of those CMYK sublimation inks, okay? And then let's see, ooh, I'm gonna step out of the, all right, so we've got, now, it does have a USB that you can use, USB cord that you can use to connect to your computer. However, you don't have to use that because, as I said, it's Wi-Fi enabled, which is great because um, if you've taken the office tour of my office, you know that my stuff is not near my computer. So anything that can be Wi-Fi connected is a big bonus. All right, so you've got, you've got the USB cord and then of course the power cord, okay? And we'll, we will get to all of that. And then really, you've got setup instructions and then a whole lot of padding. So this is basically the content. So it's pretty plug and play, so let's see if we can do this. Okay, I'm just gonna chuck all this stuff on the floor. This box is big, um, but the printer, and I'm gonna, let's see how I can gracefully do this. I'm not sure it's gonna be so graceful. Um, okay, there's literally nothing else in the box, so we will get rid of the box, and then I can step down off my pedestal. All right, so let's see here. What we have, obviously, lots of packing materials, okay? So if you're wondering where do I get the best um, bundle for the Sawgrass SG-1000, as you know, um, and I'll link to them, but Swing Design has tons of bundle options. Um, now, while this is an 11 by 17 sublimation printer, you can print longer, not wider, you can print longer with the bypass. So the bypass tray is a separate, um, it's an add-on, so you can add that on and that will give you the ability to print longer than 17. You will still have um, the 11 inch width, okay? Now, those of you who are wondering, can I use this with my silhouette studio? Yes, the great thing about Silhouette Studio, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, is you can export directly from Silhouette Studio <clears throat> and print, well, on a PC you can print directly from Silhouette Studio to the Sawgrass Print Manager, which a print manager you want to take advantage of because that's where you're going to get all the best colors, you're going to set this type of substrate that you're using, um, you're going to avoid getting, you know, types of lines and whatnot. Look, there's some padding inside, so just be aware of that. All right, I'm just taking all of these little, I can't even actually see what I'm doing here. Okay, just, I like that they put the little tab on there, it makes it super easy to take all this tape off. 
Sometimes you have the tape and it's just literally stuck to the printers or the machines, whatever, and you have to use, you know, you don't get a little tab that helps to lift it up. So this is easy. All right, now, okay, this will go in here. So this side over here is where, whoopsie, that is where the USB cord and the power cord will connect. All right, this is the tray down here. Oops, it's locked still, or it's got tape still, let's see. Okay, so tray for your paper, all right. Okay, when it prints out, this is where the holder, this is where you are going to the top. If you have an issue, you can go down in here. Inks go in here. Okay, I'm gonna slide all your inks in here. This little tray right here will tell you black, blue, pink, yellow. CMYK, you, I mean, I'm just gonna say the normal names because if I say Scion, I have to think about which one is actually Scion because that's just how I am. Um, okay, so we will do another setup video, but as you can see, there is really not a whole lot to this, which is great. It's very plug and play. It's actually, as far as being a wide format desktop sublimation printer, it's actually got a pretty small footprint, which is great because especially in a small space like I have, well, I don't have a small space, I know compared to many people, I'm very fortunate in the space that I have. However, when you have like 10, 11, 12 printers like I do, <laughs> you can run short on space pretty quick. All right, so anyway, I hope you guys are interested in learning more about how to use the Sawgrass SG-1000. Again, I will be posting videos, but all of the videos that I already have actually already still apply. So if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, I've added the links for you so you can check out um, the other Sawgrass um, videos that I have. The great thing about being able to upgrade from the SG-400 uh, to the 1000, the from going from the eight and a half to the 11 inch wide is um, the, if you're a doing tumblers, this is, you're not gonna be nearly as limited because you're gonna have the wider sublimation paper to be able to use with it, which is really what you need a lot of times to be able to fully get a full wrap on sublimation tumblers. And of course, if you have you know larger type things that you're working on, you just have a much, much larger, um, not much, much, but you definitely have a much, <laughs> Not much, much, just much. You definitely have a larger space to be able to print, um, and that's sometimes all you need. All right, so I'm interested to hear what you guys are looking forward to learning, so leave a comment, and I will, of course, do videos. There's uh, lots of content already on Silhouette School blog and on the YouTube channel, and of course, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one help or you want you know, exclusive-type videos, make sure you check us out on Silhouette U. See you soon.